Sejahtera dan salam maaf pakat Johor to Doctor. My name is Fumi Fong and my metric number is CF170166. Okay, today I will be going to present about the project that we have we done. Okay, uh, the project, uh, the name of the company is Civil Agency Properties and Java Hut. Uh, this is the company which serves service uh, to construction, housing, development, highway and others. The principal activity of the company are focused in the building of multidisciplinary construction engineering practice such as structural engineering. So therefore, in this project, the location of the project have been chosen at Setapak Kuala Lumpur to design the rainwater harvesting system. The objective of the project is first to design rainwater harvesting system for new building at Setapak Kuala Lumpur. Second is to determine the average yearly rainfall for the area at Setapak Kuala Lumpur. Third is to design gutter, dump pipe uh, and first flush diverter. And fourth is to propose an appropriate tank size for Setapak project. Okay, so for the study area, the location for the project rainwater harvesting system for our group is located in Kuala Lumpur. So the project area location is uh, at Tiara Titi Wangsa Setapak, shown in figure, is near to dense residential, residential area. So the location is just uh, to study the average uh, yearly rainfall for their area and design rainwater harvesting for it. Okay, the rainwater harvesting commonly used for consider as one of the solution to encounter infusion uh, water supply that uh, reach uh, wrongly uh, worldwide due to the in intensive exploration and pollution of water resources as well as grow population and expansion of industry and agriculture. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurfazila Binti Mohd Zaini. Today I would like to present about the literature review. First, according to Boniga and Ravinder, 2020, rainwater harvesting is characterized as a method for inducing, collecting, storing and conservation of local surface runoff for agriculture in arid and semi-arid regions for domestic or individual purpose. Second, According to Kisak Yi and Van der Buchen, 2018, rainwater harvesting systems are classified as water collection system from various surfaces, including rooftops and ground surfaces and stored in domestic tanks. Rainwater harvesting is often referred to as a viable technology to supplement existing water supplies in order to ensure improve access to water especially rural areas where there is often a lack of water infrastructure domestic only for more than 4000 years rainwater harvesting has been practiced and needed in areas with significant rainfall but lacking a centralized system of government supplies. Rainwater harvesting is not only water conservation, it is also energy conservation as the energy input involves the operation of a centralized system built to handle and pump water over a large service area. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Intan Nuryana Binti Zainal. My metric number is DF170151. Okay, as you can see on the slide, is the architectural plan of our rainwater harvesting project. So, we decided to choose a plan of the one-story building of a warehouse. You can see on the slide is the elevation and the roof plan. As you can see, the roof plan is the catchment area for the rainwater harvesting. It started from the grid line from A to D and 1 to 5. Okay, for this slide, I was assigned to do the AutoCAD of the architecture plan to the structure plan of the element, every element and the dimension of this plan. On this slide shows the structure of a roof plan which is we divided into two parts, which is roof one and roof two. 
Next, we move to the effective catchment area for designing the gutter and downpipe. Hence, we must propose what type of gutter we want to choose and design for this catchment area. So, we choose if gutter, hence the catchment area of roof is as below and the total area for roof 1 is 199.47 meters squared same as roof 2 199.47 meters squared in this project uh, i have calculated about the average year, yearly rainfall the value of 15 constant was taken nearly to uh, to the location of the project the location of the project was at setapak kuala lumpur so the near uh, location of Setapak Kuala Lumpur is Genting Kelang. So the value of fitting constant as lambda is 70.2, n equal to 0 0.854, theta equal to 0 0.290 and k equal to 0 0.165. The table show the calculation of average uh, yearly rainfall for 100 years. Uh, the value is, the calculation was start for 5 minutes until 430 4322 minutes so this is the average uh, yearly rainfall for 5 years 10 years 20 50 and 100 years that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to doctor and fellow friend my name is Muhammad Izzah Alif Hamil Wabauzan uh, I will presenting design gutter and uh, downpipe for our project so for our project, uh, we use uh, if gutter and the formula if gutter uh, need use uh, 20 years ARI from using table 4.1 in MASMA. So after using the table, we get the rainfall intensity for 5 minutes, uh, from 5 minutes storm duration from the calculation and the result is 266.98 mm per hour. Okay, for plan area, we use the uh, calculation is gutter referred in MASMA. So then we need to calculate uh, catchment area. So the formula is AH plus AV divided by 2. So we get uh, 199.47 mm square. But need to divide uh, by 4 because we separate the roof uh, area in 4 area. So the total of the area catchment we get uh, 49.87 meter square then we assume the gradient of the is gutter is ratio of 1 to 600 and from the graphs in MASMA 4.8 uh, we get the effective cross section area of is gutter is uh, 11,600 uh, meter square so the last step is using table 4.2a in MASMA we can choose the design down pipe uh, either circular or rectangular so from that uh, our group choose the rectangular and from the result effective cross section area we use the size 100 mm uh, by 100 mm oh, okay that's all from me. thank you the design first flush diverter this is the figure of the flow of the first flush diverter you can see at down there there is first flush diverter next okay this is calculation of first flush volume uh, for the calculation of first flush, first flush volume we will refer to uh, table 6.3 chapter 6 in MASMA our roof area is 300, 399 meters square. So our first flush volume is in the range of 1.25 meter until 0.05 meter. Okay, for the first step, we will refer to the MASMA second edition to get the first flush depth. Uh, the first flush depth is 0.5 millimeter rainfall. And our roof area is 399 m square. And first flush down pipe is 150 mm. Water to be drained out is 200 liter. So we will get the first flush pipe length is 11.32 meter length. 
So the first flush pipe is 11.32 meter length to be installed before entering. Salam sejahtera and salam of Kak Johor to doctor and also fellow friends. My name is Jonathan Jacob. I'll be presenting today is tank size regarding tank size and also conclusion. Okay, regarding tank size, the formula for tank size is ST equals to 0.01 times your AR. AR is uh, area of catchment where the formula is taken from MSMA. Okay, area of catchment is 199.47 meter square. The tank size is 0 0.01 times with 199.47. So you'll get a uh, 1.995 meter cube. So we can assume the tank size is uh, two meter cube. To identify the annual rainfall demand, so uh, we need to calculate it uh, using table 61B according to MSMA. Okay. So according to the drawing, we have toilet, dishwash, and general cleaning. So for toilet, it's a single flush where it's 4 notch, 120 litre per day. So the total water use litre per day is 480, whereby for dishwash is 120 and for general cleaning is 150, whereby the total of it is 750. So to calculate the annual rainfall demand, per year is 365 days times with 750. So you'll get 274. Okay, to compute the average, the average annual rainfall yield for meter cube is where 2, your tank size, just now we calculated 2 meter cube, am I right? So 2 meter cube times with 116 equals to 232. The 116, we take it from the Kuala Lumpur according to AARY. Compute percentage of water yield over rainfall demand is percentage of rainwater yield over rainwater demand whereby 232 over 274 times with 100, where you get 85%. Compute annual domestic water demand meter cube, whereby annual domestic water cube, water demand is equal to 365 days times 10 capita times 250 liter capita per day, where you'll get 912 meter cube. To identify the percentages of water yield over domestic water demand is 232 over 912 times with 100 where you'll get 25 percent last but not least in conclusion okay we'll be discussing about rainwater harvesting uh, system is considered one of the solution to encounter inefficient water supply that are reached wrongly where worldwide due to the intensive exploitation and pollution of water resources so according to the calculation that we had been calculated just now uh, we can see that the rainwater demand is nearly 85%, whereby the domestic water demand is only 25%, 25.4%. So, if we compare and see, uh, we can use the rainwater demand more than the domestic demand. So, the domestic demand, you can use the rainwater to consult for the domestic demand. So, we can save a lot of water there. Okay, so uh, I think that's all from us. Thank you so much.